Hi everyone, welcome to Civil Highways. Here we are going to discuss the things related to the falling weight deflectometer survey and analysis. I will make one more video on analysis part. Okay, in this video, I am going to discuss briefly okay, about the survey process and uh, what to say. I will show one video also. Okay, so first thing, let's start. Falling weight deflectometer survey, it is an alternative for the PBD survey, what we used to do earlier for to find out the overlay thickness, okay, and uh, using the MSA, okay. So now uh, that PBD is entirely static type, okay. So we used to stop the truck and we have to take the low deflections like that. But this is entirely dynamic one, uh, vehicle will move the with the uh, instrument, automatically you will get a deflections. So entirely dynamic process. So first thing, it one more thing that is it is a non-restrictive test. Okay. So payment is not going to disturb anything entirely without any disturbances. Uh, you have to uh, do the survey. Okay. And one more thing to evaluate the structural capacity of the existing payment. Why we are doing the FWD survey to evaluate the structural capacity. Whatever the existing payment is there, uh, how much. Uh, is the residual life that you can evaluate using this under structural capacity how much it can bear okay nothing but capacity then conducted with falling weight deflectometer how you have to do falling weight deflectometer survey you have to conduct with the fwd instrument okay it is very costly so i will show the video so then what is falling weight deflectometer falling weight deflectometer is nothing but a device okay uh, to simulate a deflections caused by the fast moving vehicle on a payment surface whatever the deflections caused by this vehicle can be simulated using this device nothing very simple to simulate a deflection we need falling weight deflectometer and then it how it can develop a sim deflections by using a load pulse load pulse how the load pulse can be created by dropping a weight certain weight will be there that can be dropped on by on the road surface that creates a load pulse load pulse creates a deflection okay this is a process and then whatever the deflections measured by the fwd can be used for back calculation of various payment back calculation means whatever the resilient modulus that can be back calculated and then using that uh, residual life can be evaluated okay so how it can be calculated using the kgp back software this is designed by the iit karakpur just like iit pev uh, similar type of software to calculate the uh, residual life and all those very uh, so much uh, processes there i will explain in the next further videos okay analysis part okay so you see this is the instrument and uh, this is the uh, dropping weight okay and this is the plate 300 mm okay and normal vehicle type before this uh, if, uh, fwd some vehicle should be there to move on this okay because it is a dynamic test okay and then field investigation how we have to do field investigation fwd shed test should be carried out as per irc 115 okay there is a separate code in that code they have mentioned all all details okay so just read if you have that okay and then deflections measured with nine geophones geophones nothing but this d d1 d2 d3 d4 like that nine geophones okay and then at interval of 0 200 300 450 600 900 200 1500 1800 okay that much uh, distance should be we have to maintain okay these are the standard uh, uh, values okay and then deflection data is recorded with the gps coordinate test points okay uh, in this instrument itself they have designed like that uh, deflections can be measured directly okay and recorded uh, in a what to say recorded directly and then the infrared payment thermometer and air temperature okay so we have to do we have to apply some temperature corrections okay and uh, weather weather condition corrections for that purpose uh, we have to measure the 
temperature air temperature respectively at each rest point which are inbuilt in the fwd equipment there is a inbuilt uh, system is there to measure air temperature okay so with that value we can apply the corrections okay for this uh, deflection values and uh, while calculating the residual uh, this uh, residual life and uh, elastic modulus okay and then payment temperature should be measured at regular intervals by drilling holes of 40 mm depth okay into surface layer with the thermometer so this is very very important okay like in bbd we have we used to apply the temperature correction here also we have to do temperature corrections for that purpose we need to measure uh, payment temperature okay that is also one one of the important thing we need you know, while doing any field investigation you must consider these points okay then see i will show the image you okay, can see this is the vehicle and then fwd instrument you can see test location and service road we are carrying out and then temperature we have to measure like this okay see so it it will move around uh, some particular speed okay automatically by uh, weighing the load pulse it creates deflection deflection can be recorded in the instrument itself okay that data can be transferred to uh, notepad like that later you can do analysis using that data okay i'll show a small video you can see drop mechanism see this is the plate okay 300 mm then these are the geophones okay so at particular interval all weather protected because otherwise something will means uh, it won't give good results okay it must be protected see this is the weighing mechanism standard load like 40 kilo newtons that you have to apply see automatically load plate deflection sensor see now deflections will move load pulse deflection system deflection waves measured can you see that payment is getting deflected yes now it will measure the deflections that can be recorded in the instrument itself okay so once that is done test completed it will move to further location okay that's it i hope you like the video uh, i will make uh, one more video on analysis okay uh, currently i'm learning that Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel. Please share with your friends. Okay. That's it.